Welcome, my name is Karen. And my name is Miriam. We are with the Office of Historic Alexandria. Join us as we explore the origins of the Contraband and Freedmen Cemetery Memorial, which honors the final resting place of more than 1,700 African Americans who fled to Old Town Alexandria during the Civil War to escape enslavement. These people were once hidden away, but through the partnership of historians, descendants, archaeologists, citizens of Alexandria, and the relentless work of many community activists, including the Friends of Freedmen Cemetery, this history was uncovered and brought back into the light. After Virginia joined the Confederacy and seceded from the United States in 1861, the Union Army quickly occupied the city of Alexandria. The enslaved people in neighboring northern Virginia counties fled to Union-held territory seeking freedom and a better way of life. The U.S. military declared these African Americans contraband of war or captured enemy property. This meant they were protected from the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850. Which stated any U.S. citizen must return a person who had escaped from slavery. After the Civil War, the 13th and 14th Amendments to the Constitution made clear that no person could be considered property in the United States. Alexandria's African American population grew to more than 8,700 residents, around half of the wartime population. Many were in ill health after fleeing slavery and had little to no access to medical care or clean living conditions. Humanitarian and relief workers sent by missionary groups arrived to assist including abolitionist Julia Wilbur and African-American author and abolitionist Harriet Jacobs. Alexandria had been a bustling port city before the war and a major supply depot during the war. Some of those who had escaped slavery found work with the Union Army and others scraped by as best they could. Many tragically died of malnutrition and disease. Young children were especially vulnerable. In 1864, Alexandria's military governor, Brigadier General John P. Slow, confiscated privately owned land on the outskirts of town for a cemetery for African Americans. It sits across from St. Mary's Cemetery, which had been established in 1795 for only white residents of Alexandria. A book of records was written for the Office of Civilian Superintendent of Contrabands. After the war's end, it was maintained by the Bureau of Refugees, Freedmen, and Abandoned Lands. Researcher Wesley E. Pippinger rediscovered it and was critical to the research of city historian T. Michael Miller. Initially, African Americans serving with the Union Army, known then as U.S. Colored Troops, were buried at this cemetery, segregated from the white U.S. troops. In 1864, 443 injured African-American soldiers living in Loverture Hospital in the city signed a petition dated December 27, asking to be buried beside their fellow soldiers regardless of race. As a result of this petition, 118 burials were disinterred from Freedman Cemetery and reburied at Alexandria National Cemetery and future burials continued to take place in this military cemetery. The federal government left Alexandria in 1869, abandoning the cemetery. The previous landowner then reclaimed ownership of the property. A Washington Post article dated March 29, 1892, indicated the site was still known as a cemetery and had remained undeveloped. It also described the disrespect the people interred there faced stating brickmakers mined the site for clay and heavy rains had disturbed graves, quote, unearthing many coffins and skeletons and leaving the outer graves in very bad condition. In 1917, the landowners gave the cemetery to the Catholic Diocese of Richmond. By this point, the wooden cross grave markers and wooden picket fence had deteriorated. The land was overgrown with trees and the cemetery had not been maintained. It appeared on a city engineer's map in 1946 when the land was rezoned for commercial use and sold. The contract stated the land could not be used for a service station, but one was built there in 1955. 
If you lived in Alexandria before 2007, you may remember this gas station and an office building at the site, both built directly on top of existing graves. New road construction sparked a decades-long project led by Lily Finkley and Louise Massoud, who organized the Friends of the Freedmen Cemetery. Their purpose was to get the city to purchase the land, restore the cemetery, and build a memorial at this sacred site to honor the people buried there and their legacy. In 2007, the city formed a steering committee of representatives for the community to work out each detail of the memorial design, which was a seven-year process. That same year, the city purchased the land and tore down the office building and gas station. A broader archaeological dig revealed the specific locations of dozens of graves at the site, as well as under the sidewalk and modern-day Washington Street itself. Today, lighter-colored bricks in the sidewalk mark the graves underneath for those passing by. The completed Contrabands and Freedmen Cemetery Memorial opened in 2014. This was built on the foundation of the gas station in the office building to protect the integrity of the site. The steering committee carefully chose each feature, which consists of a wall of names, a statue titled The Path of Thorns and Roses by Mario Kyoto, portraying the difficult journey from slavery to freedom, and a cemetery path that you can peacefully walk to reflect on the brave men, women, and children buried at the site. Thank you for joining us to learn more about the Contraband and Freeman Cemetery Memorial in Old Town, Alexandria.